Okay, here's a little gunsmithing project. These are a couple of old weapons belonging to a friend of mine, HD military, it's rusted up and an old who knows what. It's rusted up these service. Something made by Parker Lewis out of Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. Current project is a Winchester Model 1890. Shoots the 22 Winchester Rimfire. These are the shorter shorter than Magnum cartridges from a long ago. This is not really a restoration, it's more of a restoration, making these guns serviceable and presentable, but not collectible, because they've already got damage. The stock has been cleaned up, and just a light coat of finish put on it, and there's some re-bluing and de-rusting is done on all the metal parts. And it's waiting on a barrel relining job. Over here we have the barrel for the Winchester 1890 and a modified 40 inch lathe made for line boring these old 22 rifle barrels. Now we've got a carriage here that has self-centering clamps that holds the barrel centered in line with the drill bit. This is a deep hole drill bit from Brownells. There's an o-ring position right here that'll stop and catch uh, any oil keep from traveling up to the chuck. Now the cutting oil is supplied by an IV system, an old military type IV, this is a drip, and it goes to one end of the barrel and it's held in place by a, essentially a cork and a strap piece of brass. So this cork will fit either the undrilled 22 barrel opening or the after drilled 8 millimeter diameter opening. This just secures it so it won't fall out, and this cast tries to catch any oil that might drip out of there. So we'll start the IV dripping at about maybe one drop per second or so. Don't need a lot of oil. Alright, that drip rate looks looks about right. Now we have a lead screw drive on this with a three-speed transmission. You can go forward and reverse. It's a forward direction. That's reverse. And there's a medium speed. There's also a low speed. This is for cutting. And there's a variable rate to control the actual speed. The cutting rate on this is going to be such that with the chuck turning at 370 RPM, this thing will be advancing in such a way that we'll be making a half a thousandth cut per revolution of the cutting bit. It's going to take a long time to travel, It'll probably take about five minutes to travel one inch. All right, so we're going to advance the unit to the stop. This is where I stopped last time. This is a reference point. So we will engage the carriage, run the carriage forward, watch the drill bit enter into the bore. I'm going to turn it on so that it won't catch on the side and help clear out any residual chips. And we'll stop when the carriage gets to the stop point. Out there. Now we go into low gear and double check everything. Oil feed is okay. Oil drip, let's add a little bit more oil to it. A little bit faster drip. And we are ready to engage. I'm going to set the speed down a little bit. I'm going to remove my stop block and place it at the end. When the cutting starts, I will set the stop block so I'll know where the cutting actually started. So now we engage. And you can, if you can, you might be able to see the lead screw slowly turning and it's slowly advancing the carriage. When we hear the Cutting begin, we'll 
set the stop block back here so I know how far the travel is.
until the bit is clear. And we can see cleaning it. catch tray between the rails to catch what this bottle doesn't catch. The drip is still running so you'll still see occasional drip of oil coming out of the barrel which helps to flush it, keep the chips out. Also helps to cool it off. The barrel is still warm. I'm going to let it set for a couple of minutes and cool Ooh. off. So in the meantime, we're going to discontinue the videotaping until the next boring session.